Barbados. We're in Barbados. Early West News Women's Captain. Obviously, you're going to be captain in your team for your first time home here. How special of feeling is that for you? Yeah, look, it's really exciting. Um, playing in Barbados on a whole is quite special. Um, love coming back to Kensington Oval every time. Um, but yeah, I think uh, being given the opportunity to lead the team now and get to play at home in so many in front of so much family and friends, um, you know, so many supporters being able to come out from back home, I think is going to be even more special. And yeah, just really looking forward to it. Um, really looking forward to the opportunity, just wearing that West Indies badge on my shirt and yeah, hopefully playing some really good cricket as well. So four years ago, you played against South Africa, scored your maiden ODI century. How special a feeling is it to make runs at home? Yeah, it's massive. I think uh, having all my friends and family in the crowd, um, I keep saying, even um, every time I was batting in Barbados that time, you know, my dad was shouting from the stands, a little bit embarrassing, but yeah, just shouting from the stands, cheering me on, um, telling me what to do a little bit as well. But yeah, just having my parents there, my siblings, um, and everyone around, and just playing at Kensington Oval especially, I think, is one of the more prolific grounds in the world. Um, such a well-known ground and famous for so many big things and big events. So, yeah, just really happy to be back in Barbados playing again. Is it added pressure um, playing in front of your friends and family at home? Uh, I feel like I, I definitely don't feel as much. Um, but look, at the same time, I think it's a lot of fun. Um, kind of makes me feel at home and feel comfortable um, in the setting as well. Obviously, with a train at Kensington too. Um, from the time I was probably 10 or 11 and actually from my father's home club, Pickwick Cricket Club, their home ground was Kensington. So I pretty much grew up um, five, six, seven years old at, on a weekend, on a Saturday with my dad at Kensington Oval, um, just watching him play cricket as well. So yeah, it's a bit of history there for the family too. So yeah, just really happy to be back. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very, very proud of Haley. Uh, for the time Haley was a little girl, I mean, I remember when Haley was 10 years old. And they told me she wanted to play cricket for the West Indies. I always told everyone, like, I remember being, when she was 12 years old, being at work. And I told the other manager at work with me that Haley will play for West Indies once she continues to progress the way she's going before she's 18 years old. She's always told me that, you know, at some point she would like to captain the West Indies. Um, she said, Dad, you know, they've asked me, they've spoken to me and I am the new West Indies captain. Um, and, you know, what do you think? I thought, you know, it's something you have to grab. There's an opportunity you've always wanted. Sooner than both of us thought. But, you know, it's an opportunity that obviously you cannot refuse it. Um, you've been asked to do a job. You have the ability. We know that. We know your cricket brain. Haley has a very good cricket brain. She understands cricket from, from the time she was young. And I thought you just go out there and try the best. I know you'll be under a lot of pressure. But that's something you'll have to learn to manage. I'm very proud that she's now captain. Um, that's always been a dream of hers. I don't think she was expecting it this soon, um, but I know she always wanted her and I'm very proud of her.